Welcome to Prattle Potion, a podcast where two best friends talk about the world of gaming. We're Hilda and Leia. Got your potion ready? You know it. Let's start prattling. funny because i was thinking about this yes um i think we had the same idea or the same yeah we noticed the same thing <laughs> i was thinking about this uh, the other day i realized like every episode yeah. we, re- we record i'm like i'm not okay <laughs> like i i've listened back a few or like oh, for a few God. episodes and i'm like i don't think since we started <laughs> and i've been like hey how you doing you're like hmm mm, i'm not okay <laughs> Intent, and that like some, says something. <laughs> it's winter season, bitch. Nothing it goes is. good, you know? It is winter season. Yeah. And I've had a very... Okay, but okay, I've, had a, I've had a good week. It's mm. been a good week. That's good. Um, I've, I've just been extremely, like, meh, Yeah, I think. I, I saw that on your uh, Instagram that you were like, I've been on a, you know, feel kind of uninspired, like... Yeah, very, very uninspired yeah. and unmotivational. I've been, like... Like yesterday, I I caught myself staring into like into the TV when I had like the Chromecast like the backgrounds mm-hmm. just going around. I was zoning out in that in an, for one hour. I've done that, not an hour, but I've 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 been zoning out. It's a vibe. Yeah, and I was like, oh wait, what's, what's am I okay? <laughs> oh, am I okay? Am I okay? And it's just I've been doing that a lot, zoning out and just been like apathetic to things, and mm. just been like, I don't feel very sad, but I don't feel great either. It's yeah. just a middle thing, and I do think it's it's a lot with the uh, the winter yeah. depression <laughs> that yeah. a lot of people get. It gets dark very early here too, and even though it's kind of cozy, but it's also just, it's not cozy. It fucking sucks. we hardly get any light. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like considering I, starting like taking D vitamins and stuff because yeah. I don't do that, but I should. I think. Um, I do content bulking for Instagram once a week, um, and I do it on Sundays, and we record on Sundays, so I have yeah. like a whole content day, and I have to do like all my my reels and photos, um, before In the span of noon. five minutes. <laughs> yeah, like before <laughs> noon, like between eleven and one p.m. I have to do yeah. it all because after that. <laughs> Fuck off lighting. Like sun is out. Goodbye. Beach. It's like no the sun is not even here right now, I feel like. Yeah. No. I mean it's a little it's bit gray. but not great. Mm, it's not great. it's on its way. Like she leaving. <laughs> yeah. She was just like popping in and being like, How are you doing? Yeah. And then she's like, I'm j- I'm gonna head out early today. Yeah. Okay, see ya. Yep. See ya. Bye. Yep. Crying today too? Okay, cool. Yeah, good I'm for out. you, man. <laughs> See ya. But how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I feel yeah. like that's also like, I'm always, always like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. And you're like, it's a vibe. It's <laughs> like, so, yeah, I, I am. I'm alive. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I can't here. give you more than that. I'm present. Uh, but no, I'm okay. Um, here. I, um, I'm, if you're on YouTube, Check us out on YouTube. Um, Check us out. We're here. We're visual. Exactly. <laughs> um, but if you are on YouTube, you might be able to tell like, hey, I don't usually see your whole living room. I usually mm-hmm. just see I don't like a wall. change. <laughs> you know. Um, and that's because our biggest podcast fan, aka my dad, mm. texted me the other day. And he was like, this is not a critique. I'm just letting you know for your guys' sake that you're uh mirrored and i'm like huh i'm mirrored too no i think i have myself mirrored okay so the thing is wait my dad no but listen i used to, me. to have myself mirrored i know that yeah but the thing is listen to me i have a whole Never. story and i'll tell you <laughs> oh, oh, oh um, story time so my dad he was like i just wanted to let you know that that you're mirrored but hilda isn't and I'm like, oh, okay. How do you know? He went full detective mode. He was like, oh. well, Hilda's <laughs> engagement ring is on her left finger. 
And oh, that's what it wait, looks like. Yeah. Also, she's got text on her hoodie. And I can read it. But you had text on something or whatever. I don't remember what he said. The witch and, the witch oh, cup. Oh, yes. Ex- yeah. This one that I oh always had. See? You can actually read it now. Yeah, he's such a detective. I was like, <laughs> three times, I was like, okay, thank you for letting me know. And he was like, and I saw this thing. <laughs> I was like, I love my what? dad. He, he knows that I'm very detail oriented. He is as well. So, and I, I literally haven't noticed that, which I'm kind of surprised about because I usually am very picky. Yeah. Um, so I really appreciated him telling me because I want it to be like, either we're both mirrored or we're both the same. Like, I can't have yeah. one of each. Um, so he was like, I, I just wanted to let you know. And he was like, I just wanted to let you know. And I'm like, thank you. Like, he's our biggest fam, fan. So, he is. He is so he fan. watches all of the episodes and stuff. And he was like, I just wanted to let you know. This is the situation. Thank you. Thank so, you, Dennis. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> thank you, Dad. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> thank you, Papa. <laughs> thank you, Dad. Um... Shout out, Dennis, my Shout father. Shout out to Dennis. <laughs> uh, for saving the the image over here. Um, mm. But yeah, so now when I was going to fix it, the uh, Discord did not have an option for you to flip it. But mm-hmm. I saw my camera was not mirrored. But as soon as it hopped into Discord, it was mirrored. So I Googled. Mm-hmm. And apparently, Discord just mirrors. And you have no option of not mirroring it. So they're just like, fuck off. We hate you. (laughs) You Mm. need a mirrored screen. So the thing is, you might have a mirrored from the... Discord. Yeah, from from the beginning. And then because Discord, it mirrors it back. Ah, that makes sense. Because I know that when I streamed, I had it mirrored. mirrored. Yeah. So that's what I had to do. So in my program for my (laughs) picture, I had to go in and mirror it there. So... Discord can flip it back. Like, it's bullshit. What? I'm sorry. Discord. Why? That's bullshit. Just so you guys know. Why so, does it do that? I've had to flip it because otherwise it looks like... Because I like to have it the way we have it. So it looks like we're sitting... Um, Looking at each other. Yeah, exactly. Facing uh, inwards to the picture, if you will. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, but so I had to move my camera here instead of here where i had it before oh yeah because okay, yeah. so now you can see this is my living room everybody welcome living room welcome, uh, welcome. living room tour <laughs> room tour so i did not plan for you guys to be able to see this so as you can see this is my husband's computer mm. um here's the sweater here's his gaming chair there Beautiful. we have like a baby play pen situation it's like a little thingy you can hardly tell no but it's like there's a bunch of crap um welcome to my home so that's welcome. what i wanted to Crap. say um <laughs> that's what i wanted to have said but that's that's my story i uh, hope you enjoy that little story that time a good story he's a true detective yeah he is i appreciate the detective work yeah me too it was yeah he was very he was always um he kept going like yeah and and this thing. he'll engagement <laughs> ring it's on her yeah. other hand. Like he was that what the fuck? He was keeping track. And I appreciate it. You can tell that this man is my father. Like yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. I can tell where you got that from. Yeah. Okay. For sure, for sure. Um, oh my god. But yeah, so I'm good otherwise. Um it's been a pretty good week, I think. Um I can't really remember anymore. I'm like, what are days? Who is she? Yeah, no. Um, I don't. I don't remember how my Monday was. Yeah, no. I'm, that is pa- in the past. Yeah, it's. Let's forget about it. But I'm. I'm doing good. Erase. It's this been. Week. It's been a vibe. Uh, my mother-in-law was supposed to come here yesterday and watch Pixel, mm. so uh, my husband and I could go out and like have some alone time, take have a coffee, whatever. But she got sick, so mm. we just had oh. like a stay at home cozy vibe um we got pokemon violet my husband's been playing it all day yesterday pretty much we did some uh, christmas decorations not a lot but some so it's been nice also thursday we went out to buy pixel her first christmas gifts like from from me and my husband you can see them you can see them up there oh cute Um, so that's how did that feel cool and yeah. I'm excited. Like, I haven't been excited about Christmas for many years. So yeah. I'm, like, excited to get that magic back. Because a child just brings the magic back. 
Oh yeah, mm. definitely. It's yeah. a whole other vibe. For sure. When I when you celebrate with like um Kids. younger relatives. Yeah. Who still is like in that Christmas vibe. Yeah. Like where Santa and gifts are like the coolest thing and they count down the days and stuff. Like I can't wait until she's like one or two and we can fix like advent calendars for her and oh, stuff yes. and uh, that's gonna be so fun love advent calendar yeah it's gonna be a vibe so i'm excited actually oh it, i am it, excited for you thank you <laughs> as well thank you <laughs> um but before we hop into the episode if you don't have anything else you want to share i i just found it funny that your uh mother-in-law is uh is sick because my Why mother-in-law is, that funny? is also sick oh okay I was yeah, like, well, that's, that's not I funny. I just wanted to, <laughs> it's not funny, but like, I just wanted to mention like, yeah, our in-laws both of our mother in law are sick, apparently. It's that time of the year. People it just is. get sick all the time. Yeah. Fucking yeah. shit. Um, but before we hop that's, in, that's it. <laughs> what's your Prada potion today, Beth? My Prada potion today is a cup of tea. Oh. Which is black vanilla. And you have an H on it. <laughs> yes. If anybody's wondering, my name's Hilda. My name is Hilda, if you're wondering. My mom got me this cup, actually. That's cute. Yeah, she got one herself with uh, with a K on it. You know, speaking of in-laws, my... Mm-hmm. So my husband, his name is Simon. Uh, so his name starts with an S. And then his younger brother's yes. name also starts with an S. So my, oh, mother, yeah. her, my mother-in-law has a tendency to mix up the names... And also with with my husband's older brother, which starts with a C, it's, she mixes. I think it's like when you have more than one kid, you just mix them up. I think that's <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's I've it. Been, I've been called Jalmar. Yeah, exactly. In my exactly. Life. So, and he's been called Hilda. So yeah, it makes so sense. So <laughs> I think that's just like a rule as a parent. You have to just mix up your kids' names. Yeah. And she keeps doing that. So I feel like maybe she should get like um, the letter cups as well. But like the whole name yeah so, they can, like, to... so you can like keep track of which kid is <laughs> it would just who. be so confusing if there were two s cups and one yeah. c cup. for you guys too i mean it would be two h yeah 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 so yeah, that's, that's but true you write also the whole name confusing. you're like you're simon uh... you're not simon <laughs> <laughs> you're i don't want to i don't want to mention simon. names like uh not in case they don't anyone. want to yeah um but I just, that's what I thought. Maybe that's just your mom's way of like keeping track of which kid you are. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, wait, what's her name again? Yeah. <laughs> when oh, she was oh. choosing the cup, she was like. Exactly. Shit. <laughs> what's her name again? Fuck. What is your prattle potion today? My prattle potion, I'm bringing back a little old OG thing. I have an Arizona iced tea. <gasps> oh, shit. That, oh, that was back in the day oh, yeah. Beach. if you guys oh, listen to the earlier episodes i used to drink arizona iced tea a few times so yeah but do you still like drink them occasionally outside of the podcast i actually don't um i i have like episodes periods of where i hmm. just have i have like so i think i have undiagnosed adhd but i just say that i'm neurodivergent usually but i have so i get these like food and drink obsessions where i hmm. have a period where I just want to eat one thing all the time or drink one thing all the time and then I can just like not drink it for a year and Arizona iced tea has been one of my drink obsessions and uh, I had it like all the time and that was like around the time where I streamed and we had the podcast and stuff so that's why it seemed like I was always drinking it because I was but not anymore really but today I we were at the grocery store yesterday and I was like look who's there we oh, got shit, the Arizona, it's my ex. <laughs> and <laughs> it's that bitch over there. Oh fuck! Um, but yeah, so I bought one. I usually buy them in the big can, but they are yeah. uh, bottled as well. So I'm gonna do a little ASMR vibe here and just open oh. it for you guys. Oh, shit. I'm not going to make you listen to me drink it. Because I know yeah, yeah, no, we kind of have to now. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll drink it. One, one. Ah, oh, nice. 
Hi, welcome to Prada Potion ASMR. Mm, You'll never yes. have to listen to that again. But yeah, I'm having Arizona watermelon. I hope you enjoyed my ASMR What's it session. Good? Um, with that being said, <laughs> should we hop into the episode? Babe? I just asked if it was good. Are you like, oh, I you was thinking, I, you know, I just looked at it. I, I was thought like, you said, let's hop in. <laughs> I thought you said that was good. But yes, no, it's good. It good. I love Arizona watermelon. <laughs> no question about it. It looked like you were like, let's hop into <laughs> let's it. Let's just leave. <laughs> okay, let's truly hop into okay, the episode. Yeah, yeah let's, let's hop right in now. So, we're closing in on the end of the year. We are. We are. It's December. We are. <laughs> it's it's crazy. The, this year has flown by. It has. I feel like. But I also feel like we all. you always say that. It always feels like it's gone by really fast. Yeah, but I feel like I've been like two people for the majority of the oh. year. Well, yeah, so you kind of have. I've just been like heavy and sleeping and just... So I feel like, like my year has just like not existed for real. Yeah, no. That's uh, understandable when you're carrying a human being half of the time. That's that's the vibe. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. So I thought today we'd talk a little bit about games in 2023. Hmm. Because there are quite a few games yeah. in 2023. Uh, quite a few big names. Yeah, that we're actually. like expecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about like AAA games, but also a little bit about the smaller games, indie games, and Fun. also a few remakes that oh, are coming as well. Interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at the- you. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> I do feel like there has been like this uprising of remakes and mm, remasters of old games yeah. the past few years. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of, like, Resident Evil yes. is working on a lot of uh, remakes, and uh, a lot of, like, old, old school games are coming yeah. back as well. Um, so let's start there, yeah. actually. Go for it. So the first one that I think I'm actually, I think I'm the most excited about Ooh. this one, mm-hmm. which is Dead Space. The Dead first Space. game. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you haven't played it, it's a horror uh, action shooter game. Sci-fi? Sci-fi. Yeah. Yeah, and you were um, a guy, you're Isaac, on a space station, and without spoiling anything, there's aliens, monsters, it's very, very um, stressful, but in a good way, you know, horror horror shooter games, Yeah, you know, yeah, so they're making a remake of the first game. Interesting, when was the first game released, do you know? It was in October 20th, 2008. 2008, yeah. Yeah, Hmm. Yeah. and it's... uh, um, it's a franchise of three games in the end. Okay. But they kind of left it hanging after the third game. I think they felt done with oh, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The story kind of closed up nicely after the third game. We love when games are able to do that and they go <laughs> yeah. like, hey, let's make 5,000 games because we can. We're going to talk about another game okay. that's, <laughs> that's not really listening oh, to that. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. <laughs> but so Dead Space has three games mm. and I have played all three of them. Oh. And they are really, really nice. I really, really like them. And Dead Space holds a, a like a, a special place in my heart because mm. my first like proper date with Sol, like Kenny, yeah, so. was we us playing Dead Space. Oh, was so it? It's, oh, right. Yeah, right. So it's, it's really like that game holds a very special place in my Cute. heart for that for that reason as well. Let's do the sci-fi horror so we can snuggle up together and just like. <laughs> Oh, it I'm says scared. a lot about about us too, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Yeah, love it. Um, so Dead Space is releasing in January, twenty seventh. Early chic going on. Yes, and love it's it. releasing for PS five, Xbox X series. Yeah, I think it's called and PC. Cool. Is that the same platforms they are except for X series? But PlayStation, Xbox, and PC <clears throat> is that what they were released for? Like yes. from the beginning. Yeah. Cool. So I played it on PS3. Yeah. Back then. Um, and also another kind of interesting thing, like a game that released like uh, I think two days ago, three days ago from when we we're recording this today, which is the fourth of December. Yeah. Uh, it's a game called Callisto Protocol. Have you heard of it? 
I have, because one of my content creator buddies on Instagram tagged me in a post just yesterday showing like mm. a little statue thing. Mm. Um, so I yeah. I hadn't heard about it before, but now I have. So that was like well timed. Yeah. Very well, yeah, well time. Well, it, it was released like two days in ago. the days. So yeah, maybe it was on two days ago the release then. Oh no! Uh, really? Oh yeah, maybe it was yesterday. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, this game is an unofficial ish <laughs> sequel or like um, a continuation of the Dead Space series. Oh, so it's like of. the same creators and stuff. There's one. Uh, developer or if he's a director I'm not sure okay. but there's one guy who has worked on the Dead Space series who is who made this game and, and the it, OG company is not running anymore no it's not doing it anymore okay least. then then that's acceptable yeah so he made the Callisto protocol which released in the days and it's it looks almost exactly like Dead Space it's cool. it runs like the same way cool. uh, the everything but it has very mixed reviews, mm. um, and it feels like they focus a lot on death animations and stuff oh, like that. Okay. And I don't know. I've I've seen a lot of people stream it, so I've been following over there, and it has a lot of uh, coding um, things Issues? that's not going very well. Mm. Yeah, it's been staggering a lot and like been static and oh, no. lagging a bit. Oh no! But they did. I think they actually released a. Uh, a Update? patch today okay cool or yesterday we where they when fixed a lot on, of those things quick on their feet yeah but they have it's been very mixed because people i think people were, were really looking forward to dead space 4 yeah ish and this is not really it yeah but anyways it's it has a lot to do with dead space anyways cool and i thought i'd mention it yeah because it did release a few days ago yeah so another game that is also a remake is, of course, Resident Evil 4. Yes. Yes. So it's coming March 24th. Mm. Also quite early on in the year. Yeah. And it's coming for PS5, Xbox S series, and PC and PS4. Cool. Its original release was in January, January 11th, 2005. Oh, she. Yeah. So almost, so... almost 10 years. Yeah. When uh, when Almost. the remake is releasing. Eight years, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Should be? 23? 25 would make 10 year anniversary? Minus two? You're, I'm sure. My brain is not working, so I'm okay, sure you're right. Okay, that's fine. I'm not <laughs> I'm sure, sure mine correct. is properly either, so you know. <laughs> I was Call just us thinking out 2000, if we're, uh, 2005 if we're not plus really 10 working with the... It's uh, 2015. What did you say? Oh, 15. 2005 plus 10 is 2015. Oh, did you say 2005? Yeah. So that's 20. Yeah. That's Jeez. why I got confused. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I... I yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. We're, we're both confused. Oh, yeah. 20 years. Almost 20 years. Almost 20 years. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 18 years. My mom is a math teacher, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um... Also, just so you guys know, we actually did graduate preschool. Yeah. But you can't tell. <laughs> so. No, you're, you know, <laughs> you can't tell. Um, so Resident Evil, of course, you for the guys who have listened a lot to this podcast, you know I love Resident Evil. Mm. I have not played Resident Evil 4 and I'm not going to play it either. Until the remake? I won't play the remake, I'm pretty sure. Wow, really? Why? I For the first thing, I did watch playthrough of it when okay. Simon played it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't like it. Oh yeah, that much. Like yeah, it's a it's like a good like. Is Resident that the Evil one game-ish. where he like goes to Spain? Yeah. Okay. Leon. Leon. Leon! Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it's that one, and um, it's it's going out of its way. Like it's not really similar to the past Resident Evil games in a in one way because it's much more action. It's much more shooter. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. <sighs> Instead uh-huh. of like the Resident Evil 1 game I'm playing now where it's just puzzles and a few zombies that you don't (laughs) don't even engage with. You don't like (laughs) No, I like it more because at least I get some calm and quiet and I can think. Yeah. 
but then you just run past zombies. You don't har- you hardly engage them. While okay. in Resident Evil Four, it's just like it's twenty zombies, and you're yeah. locked in there with them, and you just yeah. have to shoot them. Yeah. <laughs> so we. <laughs> so we. So we. <laughs> But yeah, I but it that. looks it looks like it's gonna look really well. Mm-hmm. Um, like all of the remakes for Resident Evil that they are working on, it looks super good. They I, have their own engine for it and stuff. It's I just... hope they make her. I okay. I hope I was gonna say I hope they make her less annoying, but that would also remove the charm because now it's yeah. a thing where she's like Leon, Leon, Leon! and she just like really punchable face. I just hope they make her look her age. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was a whole thing, uh, if I remember it correctly. That's it's very cringe. <sighs> yeah, she looks quite young. Yeah, she looks like she's twelve or fourteen, but they're like, yeah. no, she's eighteen, just so she's legal. <laughs> Isn't she over twenty? Even she's like oh, twenty-two really? I she was or something. 18. Twenty-one? Oh, maybe she's okay. young. She's still young, but she's an adult. Yeah. Okay. But but she looks yeah. like she's twelve. Yeah, and she speaks so. like she's twelve. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't actually looked up a picture of her remake, but I hope she looks eighteen. If we at can least. find it, we can put it up on the Instagram. Yeah, definitely. And also like a, a lot side by side with the OG, so you guys can see how young she actually looks. It's dumb. Yeah. Young with huge titties. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which is just so It's like a full anime vibe. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. hi, we're twelve. But we have tits as big as our, our heads. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's how it works. Especially that's when you're 12. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Another game is Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Kirby! Kirby! I've never played a Kirby game. I played a Kirby game on my uh, Game Boy Color. Oh, she. We're going oh, wait, back. it wasn't even color. It was just Game Boy. Oh, it Game wasn't Boy. the color one. Mm. <laughs> it was just the regular one. You weren't. Um, that's not fancy enough. Not fancy mm. enough. So I played Kirby there and I mm. loved it. But I have not played a Kirby game since. And this game originally released in October 24th, 2011. Oh. And was like exclusive to the Wii and Wii U. Yeah, I was just going to say that. So we we won then. A wee yeah, one. Yeah. A wee one. A wee one. Oh, it's a wee one. Oh, it's a wee Kirby. Kirby? Kirby. Wee Kirby. Wee Kirby. Oh, look, it's a wee Kirby. Uh, <laughs> so they, they don't have a release date, like an um, act, like decided release date. Yeah. They It's to be announced, but it is planned on coming out 2023 probably okay. probably when they say that i kind of count as like quarter three or quarter four like the autumn winter seasons okay yeah ish because otherwise i feel like they would have they would have released that yeah yeah yeah. and it's gonna be exclusive to the nintendo switch oh cool okay yeah that makes yeah. sense that makes sense obviously. yeah a lot of uh like nintendo games tend to be exclusive, exclusive. yeah for to sure. the nintendo switch yeah yeah I think all of them um, are exclusive. Yeah. Like, if they're made by Nintendo, yeah. it's exclusive Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I actually think so, too. Yeah. that This is a game I haven't played uh, since, like I said, I have only played one game and it was on my Game Boy. So I don't really sorry. know, like... Wait, sorry. Can I make a correction? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you can play them on Switch, they are exclusive for that console, but... Not all Nintendo titles are Nintendo because, like, Pocket Camp and stuff. No, oh, yeah, yeah, no. If they're mobile, yeah, whatever. Yeah. We don't have to go there, but <laughs> basically, like, Nintendo we doesn't share. The That's the point. No, they are very much. This is mine. Yeah, don't touch. Yeah. Did uh, like when we're talking about that, uh, we should mention the uh, uh, Smash. What is it called? Smash Bros. Yeah. Yeah. They're the tournament thing. Have you heard about it? No. Who? Like Nintendo canceled like the biggest tournament they were gonna have in Smash Bros. Why? Because of like it was very fussy to me because I tried to like find why like why why but I think it was something along the lines of they are really pissed off at people pirating their game. 
Oh. And it had like come out that a few people that played the tournament had pirated their game or something. Wait, I'm, sure. why I'm not gonna. They I'm not gonna say this is it. But... Officially playing, that's interesting. I would. not Yeah, and I'm not gonna like. No, no, no I'm no, not I get sure it was that, yeah. but but it was something along the lines. I know it had to do with pirating hmm. the games, and they are very fussy with modding and pirating. Oh, that they are stuff so they had like canceled the whole tournament i know the tournament wow. canceled and a lot of people were pissed. why can't you just like implement something where you make sure that everybody has a confirmed official copy to be able yeah. to enter the tournament in that case and even if it was like they were just canceling because like other like regular people were pirating the game like why would you punish like punish so <laughs> many punish why would you punish so many people <laughs> <laughs> Why would you punish so many people, Nintendo? Why would you punish us? Um, no, but yeah, Nintendo is super fuzzy about their games, and I, I they mean, are. I get you should like respect the integrity of developers and stuff, but yeah, it's it's a bit much. They are very strict. Also, yeah, like, like oh, I'm not, I'm yeah. not telling you to. It's okay to private, like private pirate games. <laughs> private punish, <laughs> private punish, Nintendo. <laughs> Can't speak today. <laughs> No, but to pirate games, that's not yeah, the point. Yeah, like, no, that's not sure. the... Yeah. No, but they do, they don't even, like, want people to mod their games. No, yeah, I find that so strange. Yeah, they are it's a bit so much, but... gatekeeping. Yeah, oh, games. for sure. But anyway. But anyways, the uh, last game we're going to talk about when it comes to remakes yeah. is the Digimon World Next Order. Digimon? Digimon, 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 Digimon. Um, so <laughs> I had to include this one because Kenny, my partner, is, loves Digimon. Love it. He loves Digimon. And I mean, has, we grew up with Digimon on uh, like morning television. Yeah, alongside yeah. of Pokemon. Oh yeah, of. yeah, exactly. Yeah, which one did you like the most? Pokemon. Yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> but I but I did like enjoy Digimon as well. Yeah, same. But, but I've I never, never like, played, played a Digimon anything. game. No. <laughs> you, you and I. <laughs> look you and at I. us. Oh, look you. at us. But Kenny has played one, and I don't remember what it's called. But it's like a bro- Smash Bros, but Digimon's hmm. instead. Oh. And um, this is more like a like a regu- regular like Pokemon game, I'd say, kind of. Okay. But Digimon's, and it's it's Pokemon. Digimon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all it is like that. Yeah, it's just how oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, for sure. And uh, it's also ha- doesn't have a decided release, but okay. it is to be announced in, and it's supposed to be planned in twenty twenty three. Cool. And it's also to be for Nintendo Switch. Oh. No, wait. I'm sorry. It's Nintendo Switch and PC. Oh, okay, but still. Yeah, 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 hmm. yeah, yeah. But still, Nintendo Switch. That's uh, cool. It was originally released in two thousand and sixteen. March 17th. That's so And I found that. Yeah, I found like, are you allowed to make a remake? (laughs) Yeah, that's, yeah, that's very, (laughs) that's very late because I thought kind of, I, I haven't been active actively watching or participating in the Digimon world for <gasps> you 15, 15 years I think like I watched it on morning television when I was like 8 and that was it but um, mm. I thought Digimon was kind of over I didn't know it was still a thing and <sighs> them releasing a game in 2016 I'm like oh I kind of assumed it was like around when we were kids like 20, 2005, 2008 you know but they're yeah. like 2016. It's been a month and no, but like it's <laughs> and been. And we need to do everything. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. But it's. Uh, do you watch Jaden Animation? No. Uh, she she is she does animations like uh, storytelling animations. Oh, on YouTube. but you you've shown me something. Have you not? Mm, she does a lot of Pokemon Nuzlocke yes, things. Yes, yeah. the Nuzlocke stuff. Yes, they're you've amazing. Sh- you've shown me that. Oh yeah, maybe I have. Yeah, we've watched that uh, at your parents' place, oh, like around yeah, like we New did. Year or something. You showed oh, yeah, me and, and my husband. I love them. She's yeah. so good at, at storytelling and yeah, animations yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Go check her out. Yeah, shameless plug. We can um, uh, mention her. We can link uh, down in the description below on YouTube and wherever yeah. you're listening she's to the podcast. She's at the moment doing like a subathon, and she's like on day. 19 or something oh, i don't know she's it's going mad we'll link to her down below 
Uh, anyway, she played. A, she plays a lot of like Pokemon games and does Nuzlocke and stuff like that. Yeah. But she decided that she wanted to try a Digimon game, mm. and I want. She released like um, a video like a few weeks ago when mm. she like uh, was playing this game, and it's also Digimon World, but it's called Dawn. So it's uh, it's another game in the series, kind of. Okay. And she had so much trouble finding a game that the Digimon community could like agree was good <laughs> okay Ooh, <laughs> so okay. I found it so kind of funny that not even the fans was, like, are like agreeing mm, on which I, which is actually I think they're really try. like trying hard on getting like out a good Digimon game I think that's why they're pushing a remake so kind of early yeah because right now people are like oh but this game this this like Digimon Digimon John is really nice if you like look past this and this and okay. that, it, there's it was always like a but. This... Yeah, okay. for all of the games, that was oh, kind no. of it, which kind of sucks because yeah. it's like they could have. I feel like it shouldn't be like that. It should be good. No, it should not. They have a lot to work with, so I feel that's like that sad. wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but no, that's it, sad. It's a problem apparently. <laughs> apparently. So, so we, I kind of give them a pass for doing a little mm-hmm. early remake. Yeah. I mean, it's Fair. almost. They're it's like, not even they're like years, oh, this is the closest thing we've come to perfection. Um, <laughs> yeah. So let's just do that again, but like let's it, do make it, again, it look nicer, but better, <laughs> but better. Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping for them. I'm praying praying for them <laughs> that they'll succeed yeah. this time. Yeah. So that was the remastered category. That was a remastered category. Why? Nice. Do you have any thoughts? Not I'm really. Thoughts. It's, uh, I'm glad for people who are fans of these tiles. Um, that they they will be able to play the games with a bit of a uh, bit of better graphic and like something that's more with the times. Um, yeah, because I mean, you- a lot of things graphically and just how everything runs has happened just within the last five years. So yeah, do you do you like remakes? Like, what is your? I, I don't about think remakes? I've ever played a remake. Yeah, I was just thinking about like, have you? No, I don't no. think so. So I can't really offer any opinions on it, to be honest. And I don't, I don't think I played a remake of a game that, that I played like when it first released. Oh yeah, just like the remake, not the OG. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Like with the Resident Evil remakes, yeah. I played them. No, but, but I've I never, I don't think OGs. I've ever played a remake of anything. So I can't really. Uh, in like 20 years like coral island is gonna release exactly <laughs> a remake or something exactly. it's gonna be fine yeah so let's move on to like the triple a games like the big name games that most people would recognize yeah and let's start with horizon call of the mountain have you played a horizon game you haven't right like horizon zero dawn and stuff yeah, it's a girl with the uh, with the red hair. Yeah, and no, the, like, I've never. Robots. I haven't played any of the. I'm not very much of a. Um, I wouldn't call it sci-fi, would I? Is it sci-fi? It, it's like sci-fi fantasy. I yeah, call it. It's because it's an it, interesting it, mix mix of of sci-fi and fantasy, which there is, is very like, cool. It's but, almost like a. Uh, uh, how would you call it? Like a steampunk, Stone Age. <clears throat> But with robot dinosaurs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I really <laughs> Same. Maybe. But, but yeah. But like it's it's sci-fi fantasy. I would say. Yeah. And definitely. the sci-fi genre doesn't really appeal to me. Like I don't like the techy mm. futuristic stuff. I'm more like put me in a medieval castle, and give me an axe before like a robot arm. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it hasn't really. But I think it looks great. It looks. And I understand why it's so popular. But I personally, it's not my thing yeah no that and that's perfectly fine oh thank you <laughs> that's perfectly fine thank and i also want to say like the, I, the, I don't think the game takes place in the stone age but it's no no i think it's actually apocalyptic yeah like the world has gone under and they yeah. have yeah exactly yeah. and they have to like restart and yeah the, that's why they have all these robots it has a bit of maybe not mad max vibes but it's more of to that more yeah Yeah. it's a little bit on on that way anyway (laughs) anyways it's exclusive to the ps5 which all of the uh uh, horizon games are are they i thought i thought they would be pc too i did not know that uh i'm 
uh, I know that they always, like, the first release is always for PS5. Okay. But I'm unsure if they, like, after a few years release it to PC, like okay, the GTA okay. did. Okay. Not, I'm unsure of that. Gonna yeah. leave that. Um, but it's... I also kind of want to honor honor it a little bit because it's kind of like one of the biggest game with a female main character. Yes. Which I, I just love her. She is so cool. Yeah, it's very <laughs> interesting how butt hurt some men, mostly, mm-hmm. um, were about her having some facial hair. Like, and oh, not was... a beard. She just oh, had, like, God. actually some hairs on her face, which... I. Everyone I was does. laughing out loud when I saw that. It's it was so a tweet, dumb. right? Yeah. Tweet or a Reddit post. I don't yeah, remember. something like that. And there was a guy who had like zoomed in on like the poster image of the new Horizon game. And she had like, like fuss. It's like, very hair, detailed that because you can see like has. her pores and yeah. the, the, the fuzz you have like any human everyone has. has. Everyone has All fuzz. over their body. Um, and he was like, why do you, why did she why have, does she have a beard? And you're like, and everyone's like, are you Have you stupid? seen a woman <laughs> before? Are you okay? Like, uh, clearly, you have never seen a woman up close. <laughs> I mean, I don't I'm think. S- sorry, I don't dude. think the. Um, what is that called? Microblading, right? No, not microblading. You know, when you do the thing where they shave off, shave their faces. Oh, with the little. Uh, yeah. Spool. Uh, the, the little, little thing, thing where you can. Yeah. It became like a trend for a while where you would just like shave all that fuzz off. Yeah. I feel like that's not a priority in her like post apocalyptic world or whatever it is. I don't feel like so, that's her first thought, no. No, I don't think Mm-mm. so. Nope. But yeah, no, I love her. She she's stunning and that's like the only thing that's like maybe I should give it a go, but I don't think I'll I'll do that. Same, because I'm such a person that it's like I have a really hard time getting into a game if I if a can't create my own, own character. character. Yeah, I'm the or same. B, it's a ma- male because same. I don't I can't like relate Listen, to that. Listen, this is yes, I think it's so funny how synced we are because <laughs> this is the reason why I haven't really played the Zelda series much. I really want to mm. people love it and I I am thinking of giving Breath of the Wild a go, but I have like mm, but I he's can't a relate. dude. I can't he's play a dude. A dude. <laughs> like, I think I think that's the only game that I have actually. I haven't. Have I finished it? I don't remember if I finished it, like Breath of the Wild. But I have played a lot of it. And but... obviously, <sighs> Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah, but you could like I. My favorite Resident Evil are where where you can't even see the character. Yeah. <laughs> so no, but I, I think it's funny First how how fine. you and I work the same way because we are so horny for immersion <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like we need to be like this is me hi yeah. this is happening to me i can't yeah, be playing I... what something someone else is experiencing this is me right? because we make up like scenarios or like yeah um like this I, is, I, like I, my experience so this needs to be me you know right like yeah. i have a hard time even play like thinking of playing horizon simply because it's not a character i created yeah. But I'm more inclined to play that than oh. The Witcher, yeah. for, no, for I, example. Exactly. That's why I haven't played Witcher either. I tried. I couldn't. I couldn't with this voice. I, I couldn't. Mean, I it, hate it, his voice so in, much. <laughs> I think, like, if you're... Um, if you're a s- straight man or if you just like women, you don't have to be straight. But if you're a man, identify as a man, and you like people who identify as women... I feel like that could be like a true like okay Witcher because there's a lot of sex and stuff in it. Yeah. And uh there is. And for me I'm like yeah, I mean I can immerse myself having sex with people who identify as women. That's for sure. But the male part, I don't identify with that. And that's what but I have not, an issue with. <laughs> I don't want to be a guy who sounds like the oversaturated Batman. I don't wanna, Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to I don't feel like it. Exactly. However, they are talking about making a Witcher where you create your own Witcher. Which I am that much more inclined I play, to. Because I want I will to play, play that. Witcher. Because it looks right. really good. And yes. all that. But I can't. Because I'm not Gerald. I'm not Gerald. So. I don't want to be Gerald. Exactly. <laughs> I don't vibe with that. I don't vibe with him. I'm a red-headed lady with a thick <laughs> ass. I'm not a tall, muscular, <laughs> white-haired man. <laughs> That speaks with a Batman voice. Exactly. I'm not that. I'm not it. That's Jesus. not it. But it's funny how we're similar in that way. Anyway. Yeah. Horizon Anyways. series. Jesus. 
Yeah, it's a good series. Check it out. There's a few games already. Mm. <laughs> and it's coming in February. So it's quite mm. soon as well. Uh, February sec- 22nd. 22nd. It's coming out. Ooh. So next game is, while talking about Legend of Zelda. Mm. Yes. It's the Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom. Yeah. Mm. I've seen that. People talk about it. It's a sequel. Yeah. To the Breath of the Wild. Yeah. And it's coming May 12th. Oh, cool. Exclusively to the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Just like Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Um, and it's actually nominated for the most anticipated game as well. Yeah, I can I can imagine that. Yeah. Breath of the Wild was such a big thing when it came out and people are still obsessed with it. So <laughs> It was groundbreaking. Kind I, of. I completely understand. Yeah. Yeah. I think we I think we've talked about it a little bit when on we had like a music episode. Yep. And I talked about the music behind it. I touched on it at least, and yeah. it's it's groundbreaking in many ways. Yes, yes. It was it was a success. Yeah. So I'm I'm like I understand that it's the most anticipated game. I understand people are hyped, and yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. I'll probably not get it. I'm sure I'll probably yeah. look look at it for a bit and see yeah. what it what it's like. Yeah. But if it's too similar to Breath of the Wild. Maybe not. Nah, mm. I'll just keep Breath of the my Wild because really, it's probably going to be quite expensive. My husband really likes the Zelda series, so he might get it. So we'll yeah. see if I try it out. I mean, yeah, if you love Zelda, then gee, go yeah. for it. It's, yeah. it's going to be great. I yeah. have no, like, I think it's going to be a great game. It's mm. just, I'm, like we just said, it's we're not, not f- much yeah. for us. 100%. Yeah. So another game that will probably release in 2023 mm. is Diablo 4. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's been pushed forward quite a lot. Yeah. Wasn't so, it supposed to be like 22 from the beginning? Yeah. Time? Something like that. And right now they are saying 2023, but... Let's keep it. Uh, let's keep those... Um, Let's if it's 2023, I'd side. say in like exactly a year, like next December. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's also earliest. very, very Blizzard to uh, yeah. release November, December. Yeah, Christmas games. Yeah. A lot of Christmas games. Yeah. Um, so it's coming for the uh, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Xbox X Series, and PC. Mm. So they are all over the place. You can get it everywhere. Are you? Are they not releasing for Switch? Because I believe their other titles are av- available on um, Switch. Though. They might release it later on. Yeah. Because that's what they did with the... Uh, Diablo 3. Diablo 3. Yeah. So I, I, I presume they're going to release it later on. Yeah. Probably. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't played Diablo, it's a top-down game, like Bird's View game, where yeah. it's much hack and slash, action, fantasy, horror elements. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I have played Diablo three a lot mm. in my days on my PS three. I've never but... pl- I've never played any Diablo title, but I want to give it a go because I mm. know like you, your fiance, and my husband, you've all played it and you enjoy mm. it. It's you not like, like it. a no. None of you are like, oh my god, Diablo is my favorite title of our, all time. But I still want to give it a go. You know, it's like a good game where like they have a lot of lore there's a lot of story behind Diablo but it's Mm. not so much that you don't feel that you feel like what's going on what's happening wait who is Mm -hmm. that again like it's very easy to follow along and it's very much like when you level up it's just you just walk in and just massacre a bunch of monsters and it's very like satisfying in that kind of way where it's just kind of calming in a chaotic (laughs) environment yeah kind of I really like it that way so Mm. I'm I'm really looking for forward to Diablo 4 simply because of the like the last boss yeah Lilith she's so cool please look at the Diablo 4 trailer it's so good it's yeah. like it's a trailer I have looked at 10 times at least we can link it down below wherever you're listening to it or very to this. good so I told you about game that we were going to mention that it's not really listening to the keep it short yeah sweet and short <laughs> It's okay. the Final Fantasy 16. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Final Fantasy 16 is uh, coming in 2023. It's to be announced the exact date, mm. but they are saying quarter three, so some, um, sometime in the autumn yeah. winter time, I'd say. Uh, it's coming for PS5 and PC. Okay. And uh, yeah. Not Xbox? They're. 
And then not what I saw. Okay. So they might, I mean, these were, were they, what they have released yet for info. Oh, like So confirmed. they might, yeah, so they yeah. might confirm Xbox later on when they are more like inclined to like, they know when they're going to release it. Yeah. Or they're going to release it like later on in a few years after the release. Yeah. They do that quite sometimes. Uh, it's an RPG game, turn-based, very strategy, yeah. very heavy on lore and stuff like that. And I I like Final Fantasy, but mm. it's not for everyone. And not I'm one of those people. <laughs> it, like I think it looks nice, lot. but it's not my vibe. Like I don't like yeah. the turn-based stuff. It's really not for me. I yeah, I tried it. It's not for me. It's uh I've I've played two of them and I played the online version as well. Yeah. And I like But the those. online version is a little bit different because it's an MMORPG. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. much better, I'd say. Yeah. I'd pre- if, if you're going to play a Final Fantasy game, play the online one. Yeah. Because you can play it solo for so long as well. Yeah. So go for that one if you're going to play it. Uh, I don't have much to say about it. It's the 16th game. We all we all know this. Yeah, there's game. not much more to say at this point. <laughs> there's not much more to say. So I'm yeah. going to hop right on to the next one. Do the it. last one of the AAA games, mm-hmm. which is Aliens. Okay. Dark Descent. Okay. They are also to be announced when in 2023. How many games do the Alien uh, franchise have now? Ooh, Five? They have... <sighs> no more. It, it depends if like you count the like Alien vs Predator okay, and yeah. all of those uh, yeah. sidetracked games. I yeah. don't know. They have quite a few games. There okay. are quite a few, mm. and um, this is quite different, I'd say, from the mm. other Alien games, which I was kind of surprised okay. over. Uh, it's gonna be like Diablo, like it's gonna be like top down, and it's gonna be tactical combat. Really? Like like Final Fantasy, but not turn based. So it's gonna oh. be real time but tactical. Interesting. And you're gonna have like a squad, like a group that you control. Mm-hmm. Almost like a little Dragon Age, you know. You can you can choose your your squad and choose mm, what they're yeah. gonna do. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a little bit like that. But Interesting. It's top down, which I I'm actually looking I'm actually considering getting it. Interesting. Yeah, it you played fun. the you played at least one of the alien games, right? Yeah. Uh, don't even remember what it's called. No. But it's one of the newer ones. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And that one is first person. Yeah. So so this is... Uh, it's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. It's coming for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox X series. Oh. It's going to be all over. Yeah, it's all over the place. All over. And I'm sure like most games nowadays, after like two, one or two years, they release for Nintendo Switch. Yeah. And stuff like that as well. If so even. It, yeah, uh, like it, this game would work for Nintendo Switch. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, so. if Diablo does, why not this? Right. So, I, I'm looking forward to that. Interesting. One. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to what it's gonna look like when it's yeah. done. Yeah. So let's end this episode off with just a few like indie games yeah. and smaller title games. Yeah. Um, and the first one is a game that I saw a trailer of uh, a few years ago, maybe one year ago. Mm. Yeah. That is called Forspoken. Have you heard of it? No. It's made so. by Square Enix, the ones that make Final Fantasy. Yeah. And it's coming January 24th for PS5 and PC. The day after my birthday. Mm-hmm. Good birthday gift. Good birthday. <laughs> um, Forspoken. No. Mm. I, I recognize it, but also not. I'm looking forward to it and okay. considering getting it. Mm. Uh, it's an action-adventure platform fantasy game yeah and i'm just gonna read their little synopsis kind of forspoken follows the journey of Frey, a young new yorker transported to the beautiful and cruel land of athia in search of a way home Frey must use her newfound magical abilities to traverse sprawling landscapes and battle monstrous creatures the trailer I recommend watching. It's beautiful. This like, it's gonna be like open world, and but still with like a linear like storyline, and I really like it. Cool. It's we can link really the trailer cool. down below. We're just gonna link everything down below. A bunch point, of trailers. Yeah, we'll we'll link the Forspoken trailer down below too. <laughs> it's re- looking really cool. It's got this like since she's from New York and she's like it's it's present day yeah uh she gets transported to I I wouldn't almost call like the that world very Final Fantasy e when it looks like how it looks mm-hmm. and how the monsters looks mm-hmm. um 
but not Final Fantasy. Like it's not turn based and stuff like that. It's very much no, like but it's a just like fantasy. Game. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it a lot. Cute. And it looks really good, cute. and I like the story so far. I'm gonna check that out. Sounds cute. Mm. The other game is also one I'm really, really excited about, mm -hmm. which is Bramble the Mountain King. Have you heard it? Oh, I have. Yes. Listen, it's in early access now, is it not? Mm. Or have it been like released for beta? They I've released a people demo. Play it. They yeah. released a demo. Oh, it's a demo, right? A few weeks it ago, looks which good. I also got. <laughs> I love like Nordic lore and stuff, mm. so this it all, looks yeah. good, but it it's... looks scary, but good. Scary, stressful, but good. Yes. And beautiful. It looks so yes. beautiful. Yes. It's coming for PC only. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I would not be surprised if it released for Nintendo Switch later on. Mm. It feels like it could work. Yeah. It, depending on the graphics. Because it's a quite pre it's a pretty well-made game, is it not? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I'm also going to read a quick little synopsis from yeah. their website. Mm. Bramble the Mountain King is a grim adventure set in a world inspired by dark Nordic fables. Explore the beautiful yet dangerous and twisted land of Bramble in your endeavor as a boy called Ulle to rescue your sister. Traverse a wondrous landscape and survive deadly encounters with Bramble's many hideous creatures. It looks so cool. It's, That's it's, also... Uh, I think mm. we should put, put up a picture on the Instagram for Bramble because... That one I've actually heard about, and it's I'm excited about that one. It looks really it's cool. It's Sweden made. It's Sweden made. It's Sweden made from Nordic shopping. Oh really? Yeah. So it's from Sweden. Cool. It's a. Uh, it's uh not. We do super be making some team. solid games in Sweden. Sweden is very good at making games. Yeah, we got some stuff over here. <laughs> we love making games. Yeah, so y'all like... y'all heard of Minecraft? Y'all heard of Valheim? <laughs> uh, so it almost looks a little bit like Little Nightmares. Yeah. But more 3D third person. It's also kind of the same. The character kind of moves the same way. It's very almost like yeah. a dollish vibe when they hop and yeah. stuff. You feel very, very small. Yeah. And uh, it's it's going to be great, I think. And yeah. I have the demo. I haven't played it yet, though. But I really want to play it. Yeah, I think I should play it, too. Yeah, get the demo. If you have it on Steam. Yep. They have the demo there. You cool. can get it. Go get it. Go, Go get, get it. it. Go it. get it, girl. Um, another game is Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Huh. Mm. They're releasing it's a game. It's also to be announced. Okay, they because they are like, releasing a movie this year, right? They are. So they are this... like, let's do the game thing this time around. <laughs> yeah, so they have done a game before, oh, but yeah. I want to, I want to kind of scratch that from the game history because <gasps> it's quite bad. <laughs> oh no! Okay, it's for I think Ubisoft made that one. Oh, okay, unsure, but, but I'm, I'm I think are they? And it, they maybe they're a bit more prepared this time. They're like, okay, last time went shit, and, you guys. We need to step it up. They hired much more. I think it's still Ubisoft that's making this one too. However, they have hired a lot of like indie companies, like okay, smaller cool. companies from all over. So I, I actually actually know that a few Swedes are working on it. So look at us this, Swedes uh, over here. Look at us Swedes. We just go. be making our games. So like we said, this is based on the James Cameron Avatar movie that came out in 2015 or something mm, like that. Yeah. And it's, I love, Avatar, the yeah. movie. So and does my I husband. Is I think it's his all-time favorite movie. Same. Yeah. I love it. I watched it too many times to count. Yeah. As well as the director's cut and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I watched it like four times in cinema. I don't know. It was crazy. And um, I'm looking forward to this game. Yeah. It's going to be open world and very much like you can like fly those like dragons and cool. oh, it's going to be really 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 That's cool. cool. I don't know if um, my husband knows about that. I should tell him because I think he'll I think be excited. The thing is, I got like some back. <laughs> I got some like I think a little bit secret information a while ago about this game, but I so I I thought everyone kind of knew, but I don't think I think it's oh. quite new announcement. <laughs> Where is she getting these sources? <laughs> Where am I getting my sources? No one will know. Oh, shit. but so yeah, it's coming, and I hope it comes for. 2023 i don't want to wait anymore but i also really want it to be good so i feel take like your they time. would maybe take that time to you know the movie comes so the avatar hype will get back on track yeah and that's a exactly. good time to release the game yeah 
Yeah. So I'm really, really praying for this to be a good one. Cool. Uh, it's going to release for PC, PS5, and Xbox X series. Cool. Um, the last one, last but not least, is Disney Illusion Island. Who? Same. I had no idea. They're releasing it's, another game? Right? And it's not made by the same people who is making uh, They're not Dreamlight even done Valley. with Dreamlight Valley yet. Hello? Mm, they, they, I think they know that people love, like, everyone loves, like, a Disney game now. Like, mm. it's a thing. Like, it's easy to sell. Yeah. Kind of. So this is a Nintendo Switch exclusive, by the mm. way. Okay. And uh, they haven't released a specific date, but they are planning on 2023. And it's going to be a one to four player platform game. Okay. And it got like an old school Disney look. Okay. I don't think that will be for me. I'm not a Disney Same. stan. I barely got Dreamlight Valley because I could kind of still remove myself from the Disney. I don't dislike Disney. I enjoy it, but it's not like I'm... I don't have Mickey Mouse ears and stuff. Like, I'm not a Disney adult, but... Uh, yeah, so no, I don't think no, I'll get no. it, but for the Disney fans, I can definitely imagine that being like, let's go, you know? The Disney fans, and from the way it looked, I think it's going to be a great family game. Oh, yeah. Like I a can... kids kids game, or kids game. Younger people game, like family game. But like um, a freaking Mario Party, Mario Kart situation. Like, you can play it with yeah. family and friends. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good, like, get-together game to play. Cute. So if you have, like, younger children or relatives or cousins, like, I think they're going to love that because it's, like, platformer, you play with your friends. Cute. They've got the cute style. Love it. It's going to be nice. Nice. Yeah. So that's all the games for today. Well, I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that, Beach. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now we know what we're going to be preparing for for the year to come. Is there any game that you are, like... More excited about Bramble than any other. Bramble. I mean, yeah, me I think too. it looks stunning. Um, and a lot of these games are not like titles I've been waiting for, really. So, uh, but I'm excited for other gamers. But I'm not really like this one. This one I'm getting, except for Bramble, because that one. To be, f- yeah. Interesting. You know. To be fair, like when I looked up like a list of yeah. like games for 2023, there's a bunch i recommend you guys go google google like uh games for 2023 because i had to i had to pick and choose a little bit what we would recognize and more triple a games and stuff like that i get that um but there's a lot and there's a lot who is not they are planning 2023 but they haven't really announced 2023 yeah but there was the list never ended Uh, it was so many games yeah i like yeah so go Love check it though, that out i'm yeah. sure you're gonna find something to be excited about if yeah i weren't sure. excited about any of these but i am for bramble that's gonna be fun bramble very excited for yeah. bramble yeah um so before we round off the episode i speaking of what we've been talking about can i uh, kind of address an elephant in the room yeah um so there's a title which is really hyped in the cozy nerdy community uh, which is gonna, it was scheduled for 2022, but it's gonna come in early 2023. Mm-hmm. I've been a big, big fan all of my life for this franchise, but I've stepped away from the franchise because of the author of the books. Oh, oh that, yeah. Um, that yeah, I didn't. Based, bring, um, I know, yeah. I know, I understand, <laughs> but I wanted to address the elephant in the room because I think a lot of people who know me would expect me to address and talk about the game. And we have um, mentioned this game before in earlier episodes. Before We have, before a lot of things came out yeah. and we were made aware of stuff. But um, we will not be talking about that title, if you understand no. what we are talking about. We will not be talking about that title on this podcast because we love our trans friends and we support the trans community. So we are not going to give the light of day to this um, title. And that's what I wanted to have said about that. Um, Good. I completely understand if people are hyped in a nostalgic uh, way about the title. Like, this was my dream game to get. Like, I was dreaming about this for, like, 10 years ago or five years ago, you know. Um, But, yeah, I've had, like, a process about not being as love in the front, being as in love with the franchise as I was because of 
the views of a certain author. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people are fighting that, like the all of the emotions and yeah, what, I think it's a think bit of a um, process for a lot of lovers of the franchise. Yeah, yeah but, I've seen I've seen a lot, yeah. a lot of people be yeah, very I've had saddened. a bit. I mean, it was basically half of my identity for the first twenty years yeah. of my life. It was so, um, but yeah. It's it's a vibe, I suppose. But we yes. be standing with our trans friends, and we are not. Um, we are not. We are not playing or talking about it. Exactly. Uh, we don't feel like it should we don't take support up our her. space. We don't support that, no. and uh, we are supporting our friends instead. Yeah. So that's what we wanted to have said about that, and we're not going to be mentioning that title or the author or the release or anything about that. But I wanted to address it in a. Yeah. A fuzzier way, I guess. Yeah. Just at the end, because that's that's something we probably would have mentioned. Yeah. If yeah, I mean, we have talked the about it before. The situation was different. So yeah, it's it's it, sucks, it is what it is. It, it sucks. is what it is, and um, and and we don't stand by that. No, so we don't. We're not going to talk about it. Exactly. So that's. There's I just want to show the games to look forward exactly, to. Exactly, a hundred percent. Thank you for the episode, babe. That was fucking solid. I'm excited about 2023 for all our Me gamer too. friends and what's going to be happening and, you know. Um, Everything like that. I'm also very excited. There's a lot of games. I'm I've, I'm uh, worrying for my wallet. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I get that. I get that. <laughs> um, but thank you for the episode, babe. Don't forget to check us out. Uh, you can listen to the podcast on YouTube, SoundCloud, and Spotify. Uh, we also upload for the... Um, uh, for the episode we always upload some pictures and stuff on our Instagram yes. uh, we update when there's a new episode release on Twitter uh, we're going to be uploading TikToks not yet but soon when we get around soon. to it yes. um, <laughs> and, and also don't you can to, yeah go you can reach <laughs> <laughs> and also that you can if you sign up for a fan house yes. you can listen to the episode two days ahead of everyone else yes. and, and also get, get a special, special role. shout out also, oh, at the end a of shout our out too. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A shout out and a role in our Discord. Yes, Beach. Mm. Um, so, also, join the Discord. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Hello. You can find the link down below wherever you're listening to the podcast. Join so, us. So, hang out with join us there. Us. We talk about games and the episodes and just hang out and it's a good vibe. Yeah. So, check that out. Thank you guys check for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Have you, a man. nice day. Have a nice week. Yeah, we'll see you guys in a week.